Okay, hi. My name is Bryn, and welcome back to the Voxelfile channel. So since I had last left off, I have done what is necessary to build fixed-sized voxel worlds. However, it's probably better if I show. So I can drag over the application here. The engine is called Hexane so far. And what you can see is I have a 256 by 256 by 64 actually I think it might be by 128 tall voxel world. You can see there's some variation in the grass color here as well as some slight variation in the dirt color and this has all just been generated with a height map. I can fly around, I can even clip through the terrain to view that this is in fact a mesh hole and not a naive approach to building a voxel mesh. And you can also see that I have some slight ambient occlusion, which is baked into the mesh. Now, how did I do this? Well, I can actually show. So what you can see is that I start by building what is called a sparse voxel octree. Now, sparse just means that uh, the octree does not store information for empty space and voxel just means it stores information necessary to showing blocks as in minecraft blocks in the arc tree it's storing that minecraft blocks in the arc tree and uh, what you can see i do is for the size of the world i just generate a height map and then if it is the top block i put a grass block otherwise it, i place dirt blocks underneath it and then I generate a mesh from that octree. And it's pretty interesting how I do this. So I will show. So if uh, it would be an octree, and it would be the generate function. So you can see I take in a boundary. I also have level of detail that is going to be implemented. However, it's not implemented yet. And what you can see is I sample the octree in order to get the node that is the, the logical data that includes the voxel that is relevant to the octree. And then I get the position and the color. Using that information, I, um, I am able to get the normals. And further down the line, based on the position and the normals, I'm able to get the ambient occlusion. And then I just push back one vertex per face for the position, the color, the normal, and the ambient occlusion. And then in my, that's a little bit of a sneak peek, I'm working on lighting, shadow map lighting. Uh, however, that is not done yet. But you can see that for every uh, vertex, I generate six vertices. Uh, and then based on the normals, I just go into this offset um, uh, array of vector threes, and this basically translates to the um, uh, offset for the, the face, the vertex offsets. Um, so if I have a vertex that is facing up, then I'll want to generate one right here, one right here, and one right here, and then I'll want to have another triangle, which is one right here, one right here, and one right here. Um, if it's forwards, it'd be like right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And that is basically what I'm doing is I'm generating those six vertices based on one. And that just saves me a lot of memory. Now going forward, what I want to do is I want to implement shadows. And then I want to implement uh, some method of having a larger render distance, a larger world. Not necessarily an infinite world yet, but just the ability to view out into the distance. And then I want to get physics working. And from there, I'll be able to go on to the next phase of my project where I'm able to actually implement entities and things that will interact inside of the world. Anyways, if that sounds interesting, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any criticisms, of course, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.